Zion I Notation here live from Strictly Rockers, WERS. And we have John Music, Dread Music for you until 8.30. Uh, we heard a f set of music uh, with a short break in between there from Zion Annotation. They're a local band, uh, most of them hailing from around the Roxbury area of Massachusetts. We heard Drum Song, Natural Mystic, I'm Not Ashamed, Party in the Slum, Black Man Redemption, 400 Years, and Black Star Liner. We'll be talking with members of the band and uh, some other special guests. White Ram is here and uh, Jai Youth and some others. And we're going to be talking to uh, lots of people here, lots of interesting people. So if you're into the, re the local reggae scene, you might want to stay tuned here. Let me just run down the uh, members of the band for you. First of all, on lead and rhythm guitar, does some vocals too, uh, Ross Ipa. And on keyboards, Ross Ian and uh, Ross Ifus on the drums. Ross I Rock on the bass, we heard a little, uh, we had talked with him just a little earlier. Ross Jaja -Ja lead vocals and backup vocals. Danny Tucker on lead vocals and backup vocals. We've been playing a single of his, Take Us Home, and uh, you'll be hearing that in the second set here. Uh, who else? We got Ross I Mean, percussion. Uh, Ross Ipon, DJ Chant, and Ross I Jean, lead guitar. And I forgot somebody. <laughs> Keyboards? Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. In any case, we're going to go to a, a few records here, and we'll be back with some interviews. Now we've got uh, members of the band here with us that we'll be talking to in the next couple of minutes. And standing just to my right are a pair of very dread twins, members of the band, uh, who do some of the DJing. And we've got Rice, Ross Pipin and Ross Iskas, yes, uh, from Jamaica to their twins. And you can barely tell them apart. If Maybe if they could get together and do a, a DJ dub album, we could call it Ross Pipin meets uh, Ross Iskas Uptown, something like that. <laughs> okay, I'd like to ask you, when did you, you were Ross Iskas? Yes. yes. Yeah. When, did, uh, when did you first start, uh, you know, doing some DJ work, some dub work? When See, did well, I started DJ, you know, I just loved DJ from a uh, little youth, you know. Mm -hmm. See, you were listening to reggae then, or was that rock steady? See, but them time of reggae still, when big youth come out, uh, it's 90 skunk and them style, you know. Mm -hmm. You mentioned to me, for, uh, you mentioned earlier that big youth was uh, your favorite DJ. Yeah, still I favorite still, right? Wh you know. wh why, do you, why is he your favorite above all the others? Well, he's a man who's trying strictly truth and rights, you know. Mm -hmm. All of my DJ just love rhyme and, you know, seeing, mm -hmm. right now, rhyme leave the children to crime. So that was a big of the man with us, chance, strictly two down right, you know. Do you think that uh, DJ music is going to catch on here uh, Amer in, a, in the state side? You know, do you think... Uh, yeah, man, because uh, reggae music, uh, you know, Rasta culture, so you know, so yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, man. And uh, who who is your favorite DJ? And when did you... This is Ross right. Pipin now. True. true. Yeah, and, and you you're the, you perform with the band right now, right? True. You will be hearing from you on, on a song a little later, I'm sure. See, and see, yes. I have our original working on, you know. You have a record out now? No, working on it. Oh, you have an original yeah. that you're working on? So you might hear it later on. Okay, so when when did you first start doing the, the DJ work? Still, like my brother said, I love it the same way like him. <laughs> Together you yeah. love it. And big, big youth is my favorite still, you know, and I DJ, but I used to love it. I do the dance hall, you know, like. DJ sound system and things like that. Right. You know, I, 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 I work I, are you thinking about maybe getting a sound system together, go around and do yeah, some things? Yeah, I have one. Yeah. I have one, yeah. Name Herbalic Hi Fi. Oh, yeah? Okay, <laughs> yeah. we'll be waiting to hear from that, too. Sure. Yeah. yeah, so uh, there's been a lot of uh, DJ dances in the in the area, Mattapan, Roxbury lately. Are those yeah, well attended people coming out to uh, to see those dances yeah. and dance? True, true, true. Yeah. Totally. A lot of uh, non West Indians coming out, you know? Yes, yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. Reggae music control, you will. Reggae music control, the whole universal world still, you know what I'm saying? So you think yeah, it can. Man. You think it can take over disco music here yeah. in the States? Don't take it over already. Yeah. It's conscious new music, you know, positive vibes. You got the heartbeat, you know. As yeah. Peter that, that, Tosh says, disco is get down music and reggae is get up music. Get up music. Yeah. You got it, one heartbeat to keep, keep the, the art, everyone together. You know? mm -hmm. One identity. Okay, so you, uh, we, as far as Zion annotation goes, do you hope that the band will break? Uh, are you going to try and get the band to, to, to record, to get a record done uh, stateside? Yes, I. That's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're working yeah, we work on it because that's why we even here, here together, you know, try to get to get it firm, get it strong. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. who, who are some of your favorite artists other than DJ artists? What, uh, who, do you, who do you like to listen to when you're not listening? You're just listening to straight reggae. Still some culture. Vocals. Colchang, Gregory Isaac, and quite a few. You got some nice singers in Jamaica that a lot of people don't hear about because they're in the ghetto and struggling is hard. 
you know. So mm -hmm. you don't hear them, but they, wow. they got a, it got a lot there. I couldn't even tell Dennis you. Brown. Yeah, there's, there's many singers that you're never going to hear of here in the states just because the uh, sure. the, uh, the they're not going to ever get distributed by a major label. You know, and so that's why some bands are coming states. Uh, there's bands popping up in New York. A lot of uh, a lot of dreads are coming over from Jamaica, starting bands down in the city. Yeah. You know, and there's a lot of reggae being produced in, in New York City now. Yeah. Truly, they, yeah. truly. Okay, back there in the back of the crowd, we've got another member of the band. And if he'll step forward here, this is Danny Tucker. Love you, love you. <laughs> Danny is uh, has just come back. How long ago did you get back from Jamaica? Oh, about three months, maybe and, four. And you were there recording a single, Take Us Home, which we've heard for a right, number of weeks. Right, right, yeah. right. When, when did you decide to go into the studio and, uh, and record that? Well, I wanted to do that forever, you know. Mm -hmm. You've but, been writing uh, for a long time? Yeah, but I get the chance December, so I took it. You, know? you, were, you, you went from the States to Jamaica, though? You had been living in the States for some right, time? Right, since 73. Oh, yeah? And you were born in Jamaica, right? Right. Did you sing? Did you sing with bands back home in Jamaica? Well, I tried. There was one time I was with a band and uh, show up for rehearsal one night. The, the equipments weren't there, you know. <laughs> they all move out, so that was so that close. Was it. I went. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, how's the single been doing? I noticed a number of uh, stations are playing it from time to time. And yeah, well, uh, it's it's really been playing around. Yeah, and, uh, and you're, you're going to do it for us later, right? Oh yeah. You sure. plan to do any more writing and maybe go into a studio up here or in New York oh, yeah, or anything well, uh, like that? Financially wise, um, I'd like to go in soon, but you know, you know how it is. Mm -hmm. You, you may have noticed if you've listened to some of the interviews, I've been asking all the members of the band who their influences were. Um, Partly because, uh, you know, when, when you ask somebody about reggae in the States, all they say is Bob Marley, you know, and, or Jimmy Cliff or something. I've been asking all the members of the band and getting a wide response of, of people they had listened to uh, as, uh, as youth in Jamaica. <coughs> who, were, who were some of your favorites when you were growing up? Well, one of my favorite, his name is right here. Tones, you know. Uh, Leroy yeah. Sibbles, yeah. You know, I mean, those guys can really do it. <laughs> He was he was going to be with us today. He's in he's in Toronto at this time and not going to be able to make it down, which is too bad. The uh, the Heptones are one of the legendary vocal groups. Right. I would say Jamaica. They had some great hits like Fatty Fatty and yeah, Book right. of Rules, right? Yeah. So any anyone else besides yeah, him like, you're listening I to? I like uh, this guy Ken Booth and. Uh Ken Booth was uh, was around during the the uh, rock steady days. Yes. Oh yeah, right. The oh, days. He's something else. Ken Booth and uh, this guy. I forgot his name. John Holt. John Holt, ah, one of the greatest. Yeah, we have some John Holt here. Maybe we'll, I Am Your Man, it's one of my favorites. Maybe we'll get to that later. Standing in the back is the keyboard player, and you are? I, Gene, but I never give no interview, you know. No interview today? Okay, that's the keyboard player from uh, Zion Annotation. Like I say, we're going to go back on. I say we'll do about five minutes here, and uh, we'll get the band back on live here. This is WERS, Strictly Rockers.